Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 30, Image from Portrait. A lot of you might have already run across this uh, feature and wondered what it was. And I'm going to give you a brief explanation. When you go to your image tab and you're going to pull an image to digitize from a file, uh, you can get it from a file or you can get it from your scanner, or you see this little face icon that says from portrait. When you left click on that, it opens up this little program that Brother has been putting on PE Design for as long as I can remember. It's a lot of fun, but I'm telling you, you can spend hours getting lost in it and you can get excellent results, but I'm just going to briefly go over it so you know how it works. First you see face and then a little color tab behind it. We're going to start with the face and uh, facial features. You can have the facial features be average, narrow, wide. Uh, child, which I suggest you check if you're trying to uh, recreate a child because it uh, alters all the uh, facial features once you uh, select it. Eyes close together or eyes far apart. So we're just going to use average and we're going to start in the part section. We're just go from top to bottom. So we'll start with head shape and when you uh, are on the part you can slide this bar across and it's going to show you all the different options you have for head shapes. Or you can push this little thumbnail tab and it will do the same thing. I'm just going to choose by uh, going up and down. It will show you more options at one time. We'll just choose a regular head shape. Uh, then we're going to go down to hair. And as I said, you can slide it to get the type of hair you want. Or you can push on the thumbnail and it will uh, let you see more options at one time. So we'll just check some hair. We'll say OK. And then we go down the part list, down to bangs, and I'm going to check the thumbnail. And we'll just get some, yeah, these bangs are fine. Say OK. Go down. We're going to get some eyebrows. Um, just, those are fine. Just, there's lots of different kinds of eyebrows, from big and fuzzy to mean looking, whatever you want. Uh, next, we're going to go down. It says right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear. Uh, I'm going to check right eye, but as long as this box is checked, it says change both left and right. It's going to have the same eye on both sides. Sometimes you might want to have one eye winking or one a different color than the others. Uh, most of the time not, so I usually keep that box checked. So we're going to go for eyes, and I'm just going to. Uh, I'm not going to look at all the different. There's lots, so many different eyes. I'm just going to. Uh, choose some regular looking eyes. Then we're going to go down to ears. Same thing. Uh, I'm just going to put some little ears on there. Say OK. And then we're going to go to nose. And there's so oh, there's lots of different nose shapes. I mean too many to even a little pig nose it looks like. But I'm just going to put a little nose on there. Say OK. Uh, and mouth, lots of different mouth options. Uh, let's see what we want. I wanted something with lipstick on. That's good. I'll say okay. And then uh, other things have wrinkles, mustache, and beard uh, you can put on. And then uh, you should be able to find the style of eyeglasses that the person you're trying to recreate wears. And others has anything from a band-aid to a tattoo or scar. So uh, I'm satisfied with that. But before I uh, finish, let's check the color. I think I might want to make the hair. I might want to make them a, let's make them a redhead. And we might want them to be, have a darker complexion. So we'll put a darker, she's got a real good tan. The eyes we're going to leave blue for the uh, contrast. Oh, we got to have red eyebrows if we're going to have. And uh, mouth, we'll change that lipstick color. Oh, we'll say OK. Now that brings in the image to our uh, layout and editing fi uh, uh, feature. And uh, this is the one time that I like to use the auto punch because the images that you create in the portrait program are going to be like a vector image. In other words, you're going to get real good results from it. So don't even try to digitize it from this image if you can just push the auto punch and push auto punch. 
and I just go right down the line. I go next, and then I'll go next, and then I'm as soon as it finishes thinking, I'm going to push finish. And that's going to populate that image with the stitches. Now you can still manipulate this a little bit more. You can change, uh, you say, oh, I don't like that. That is too much of a tan. I want her to have uh, more of a flesh color skin. So you can uh, select it from your sewing order and still change these features. And you say, oh, I don't want her to be a redhead. I want to change that also. You can just select it and uh, change that to another color as well. So as you can, and then after you finish it, you can you go to your little flower here and you save it as whatever you want to save it with until you collect uh, as many people as you want to include in your project. But this is a fun project, like I said. Uh, have fun with it and uh, give me some comments. Tell me how you like playing around with this little program.